Okay, so let's do a synthesis problem. Can anyone uh, propose what would be the reagents we would add to go from this starting material to this product? We have to do that on the final. Pardon? Do we have to do synthesis on the final? Oh, yeah, absolutely. Synthesis is what organic chemistry is about. Um, the only reason we're even studying organic chemistry is to learn how to synthesize things. So the further on you get in the course, the more, the more synthesis problems there'll be on the test. Because the more reactions you know. Uh, and this is the most simple synthesis that you'll see. You'll be seeing much harder than this. So yeah, we have to be practicing this. Okay, so can anyone propose um, any, here's our starting material, here's our product. Are there any reagents we could add that would help us to get from the starting material to the product? HBR. Should we add peroxides? No, because then it'll go in the less substituted one. Yeah, so the key thing to review here is, did we want the Markovnikov or the anti-Markovnikov product? The Markovnikov. And so you're right, we want to keep those peroxides out. Keep the peroxides out because we learned earlier that that will give us the Markovnikov. Uh, to save time, we won't go through the whole mechanism here. That would be a good exercise. But we've just learned that without the peroxides, this is Markovnikov. So this would give us this answer uh, over here. That would be it. Well, this reagent would always give us Markovnikov, but the important thing is to know why. Remember, we've seen why that is. Um, why would this give us Markovnikov? Well, maybe we will go through uh, the mechanism. Because the hydrogen attacks first. The hydrogen attacks first, because it's the electrophile. Well, the hydrogen is going, we're going to have to put the positive the charge on this more substituted carbon. And then when the bromine comes in, it'll end up on the less substituted carbon. All right, so the key thing is to know why this is always Markovnikov, because the hydrogen attacks first, forming the more substituted carbocation for the bromine to come in and attack. Okay, so without the peroxides, this would definitely give us this product. That's good. So this was, like I said, the simplest synthesis you'd see, because it's only a one-step synthesis. You'll probably see three and four-step syntheses on the test, but this is a good start. We won't go through complicated syntheses today, because we're just learning the reactions. Let's say you wanted to go from this starting material to this product. Then we could put it in a peroxide. So what would be the reagents? HBr and R 